Welcome to Arabesque. This week we are taking you to the Iraqi Cultural Center and a multicultural evening of calligraphy, music and poetry. Opening a new exhibition from calligrapher and artist Banam Egzer was the poetry by Miriam Mishtavi, read out by the artist herself, along with music by musician and oud player Kareem Samaro. Miriam Mishtavi, born in Lebanon and now a lecturer at the School of Oriental Studies in London, started writing poetry at a very young age and was recognized in Lebanon for her talent. She has published four books. And after a recent tragic loss of her son to cancer, she took to poetry even more than before, as though the ordeal kindled a volcano of poetry erupting from the depth of her soul. She told us a bit more about her relationship to poetry, and we also, of course, had the opportunity to listen to some of her recent heart-stopping and sometimes haunting work. al <laughs> نمت بدأ الحب كنت أمشي خائفة كنت أمشي خائفة أن تخونني رجلاي في تلك الرحلة رحلة المجوس ركعت ركعت أصلي كأرض عطشة طفت حول معبدك تناولت عشائي الأخير على مركبك كنت أعد دقائق مسبحتي حبة حبة كم تمنيت أن تطول وصحوت على مواسم تهاجر كل مغيب نمت بدأ الحلم أفردت روحي أجنحتها وارتقت حمامة تهدل هذا هو حبيب الحبيب I was born in Beirut, the beautiful city of Beirut, and uh, I studied my uh, BA and my master's degree at the American University of Beirut. Uh, and then after that, I got married and I moved to London. في تلك العينين الدافئتين غبت قليلا في تلك العينين الدافئتين وأنا أحاور الرذاذ اللطيفة المختبئة فيهما وألاعب قوس قصح صغير لما استدرت وتركتني أمضي وحيدة وذاك الدرب الصامت طويل I started at a very young age uh... It was just like to express the feeling, the feeling of love, the feeling of sadness. Poetry was like a friend, a friend of mine. When you have that much pain, you need to let it out. You need to express it in a way. And I was, I found poetry, uh, my rescue, my friend, uh, the person that can listen to me, uh, hear my, 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 my cries, hear my sadness. We're going to call it a, uh, a, uh, an event of love, poems of love, and it's only about love. I am uh, Palestinian English, and uh, I play guitar and oud and percussion as well. When I play with a poet, I usually don't like to compete with them and wait for their for them to express themselves and then follow it through. Really, some there might be a few little ones that people recognise in the middle, but generally it's improvised and my own feeling of what she's trying to convey. حبي لك حبي لك تصوف بلحظات الغياب 
حبي لك تصوف بلحظات الغياب واستحضار واستحضار المستحيل في الذاكرة Media Director of the Iraqi Cultural Center, Wahida al Makdadi, tells us more about this evening. Today's event combines uh, Arabic calligraphy and poetry. Um, as you know, Arabic po uh, calligraphy is a very ancient form of art and a great form of art, um, almost the essence of um, our um, uh, civilization. Uh, the Arabic Islamic civilization. Mr. Behnam Exil, the calligrapher, he is drawing on the great legacy of the great masters of calligraphy in Baghdad, in Mosul, and also in Turkey, in Istanbul. So he trained at the hands of um, uh, the great calligrapher Yusuf the Noon from Mosul. Also, Hashim Muhammad al Baghdadi, considered the greatest calligrapher in the whole Islamic. Uh, world, as well as um, he met uh, Hamid al Amadi, the Turkish well known um, calligrapher, well known for his Thuluth works. Um, so, you see, in this uh, exhibition, um, there is a combination of history, beauty, elegance, uh, all the ingredients of great um, uh, Arabic uh, calligraphy. Telling us a bit more about the calligrapher Banam Exir is the director of the Iraqi Cultural Center, Dr. Abdul Rahman Diab. Well, we are organizing uh, today at the Iraqi Cultural Center in London the uh, um, uh, Arabic uh, calligraphy exhibition um, uh, for um, a Christian Iraqi um, uh, calligrapher uh, who, I mean, most of his uh, pieces um, are selected from the Quran. Uh, so this um, this exhibition is not just showing the uh, the beauty of the the Arabic language, uh, the Arabic calligraphy, but it shows the uh, the unity of the Iraqi society and how there is no differences between Muslims and Christians, how how they are, um, you know, uh, stimulated by each other, how they are um, integrated and they uh, used to live in harmony um, um, through through the centuries. Today was particularly of interest to me because the, Ira the Arabic letters has got some special characteristics that can be used in uh, paintings as well as even in fashion designs. And it is something that is very old and historical. And uh, Mr. Banam is also known as one of the Iraqi calligrapher that uses mostly what we call the Al-Kufi uh, letters in his uh, uh, exhibitions and in his displays, but many other people also use a mixture of uh, letters and uh, other forms of paintings and art, so it is something that is really of, uh, I hope it is of great interest, not only to the Arab uh, communities here, but also to the British people who I hope they come and enjoy this exhibition.